My name is Joel Jackson, and I'm a Christian musician and worship leader from New Albany, Indiana. My tagline on social media is that God saved me from suicide and unbelief, and now I sing songs for Him. I almost ended my life several years back. I was a worship leader, um, and I was 22 at the time, and uh, stuff just started to completely fall apart. When you have so many eyes focused on you when you're doing music and your life is falling apart, everybody inevitably sees it. I lost my band, my friends, and most importantly, I lost my faith. I, I said, none of this God stuff is real. By God's miracle, I ended up making it through that time and then got inspired to make a film about that experience. Aaron, you should, you should come down with me. A movie company picked it up, put it on Amazon Prime, put it on YouTube and that film is called Rock for Jesus and it's been seen all over the world. And so it's really cool because the whole world was able to see this film about a guy completely falling apart and then finding God at the end and God saving him from suicide. Right as my movie came out, I met Mikey Howard from Seventh Time Down. He ended up seeing the film and asked me if I wanted to get back into Christian music because I just made a film and um, while I was fully into Christian music before, for six or seven years, I just jumped out of it. So uh, Mikey expressed interest in wanting to get me back into Christian music, and um, I said yes, and he pretty much took on a manager role. I don't think we'd say that officially, but, but for me personally, um, he took on a manager role. So Mikey helped me get to work on my sound, songs, uh, my image, social media, different things, just kind of giving me advice on, hey, this is what I would do as a solo music artist. And um, I was able to go out on the road with Seventh Time Down as a videographer and learn the ropes of how that whole touring lifestyle works. Meet and greets, uh, what time the concert starts, what time the sound check is. Um, it was just a huge, huge learning experience for me. There is salvation in the... Or is it the or is it the... You said the. So the culmination of working with Mikey was that we were going to be producing this record. Um, he told me, you know, I want to take your songs to the next level. I want to get you in the room with writers that an indie artist would normally not have access to. Um, so he took me to Nashville and we wrote a couple songs with Tony Wood and Ian Eskelin. And uh, Mikey was there and we got some just songs that were just completely next level. I, I couldn't have found them on my own. If I went to the ocean floor, I know I'd still find some more. In one corner, we've got Mikey, who's helping me get these pro songs. But in the other corner, we have me releasing my own stuff to a fan base that I kind of already have through the film. What's up, guys? Today is the day I am at Spencer Christian Church, and we go on at 4 p.m. at the event No Hope. Can't wait to see you there. Playing shows, I've got a band that goes with me. We do music videos, put out songs on Spotify, uh, I do ads on Facebook to try to reach people. Um, and really, I think what I've found is people have really caught wind of my story. So they'll come to the show and, and I'll tell them, you know, God saved me from suicide and now I sing songs from him. And then I've got a movie about that time in my life and um, it's just really caught fire to where I'll show up at these places that I've never been before um, and people there have seen my movie and, and tell me how it's kind of helped them get through something and trust in God more. And here we are, Mr. Joel Jackson. I think I represent that God can use broken people. And I think that's what my fans have really latched onto and why they've stayed connected to me. I mean, I was done. I quit believing in God. I said, none of this is real anymore because I have these suicidal thoughts. And I tried to kill myself several times. It got really dark. Darker than I would like to admit most of the times. Um, but the fact that God can bring me out of that into working with Mikey Howard, to building this local fan base, to worship leading in a church, it just shows what an amazing God we serve. And 
That's the story I tell night after night to my fans, and I really think that's what they've latched onto. It's this, my story is a return to Christianity. It's like the prodigal son coming home. My name is Joel Jackson, and God saved me from suicide, and now I sing songs for him. That's my story.